want to introduce you to two gunsmiths, a husband wife team, and they're very successful. So I want to introduce you to Gary and Valerie Carter, and let's hear their story. Gary, Valerie, tell us what's going on. How'd you get started in all this? And what's your story? Well, um, I, I, I'm a retired machinist, 30 years machinist, and wanted a hobby when I retired. And I've been an avid hunter since since six years old. Mm-hmm. Yeah, started out with a 410 single barrel, and uh, dad raised us with guns, and we worked on our guns and cleaned our guns and took proper care. Uh, so I needed something to get me up every morning. So we started with you guys, started our education, and uh, really, really enjoyed it. And we, we started out with uh, – a 360 foot shop, square foot shop, mm-hmm. and uh, and business just kept growing. There's there's not many gunsmiths in our area here in North Alabama. So there's where not we many are. gunsmiths in any area. That's the problem. Yeah, that's true. In, in fact, I have a lot of people say, "I'm so glad we found you. Yes. We we want someone to work on our guns." So mm-hmm. uh, we we started our our education and really liked it and. Business just began to really pick up, and and uh, we one of the things that helped me so much was we got the little plastic card uh, that had the UPS uh, USB port in it from from you that mm-hmm. that taught us about the business side, you know. Yes. Well, it had the flyer templates in it, and I printed up some flyers and carried them to various gun shops, you know, and. Uh, first thing you know, we're we're building a new building and and uh, uh, we we normally keep 25, 30 guns in the shop all the time. Mm-hmm. And it went from a hobby to six days a week. <laughs> and so and, and Valerie, she was really interested in it. So she now, put, I've never been around guns that much. My dad was in the Air Force for 20 years. He was an MP, but he would bring his guns in put them away whenever we're around them. So when we first started talking about this, I'm like, I don't know. I've never really messed with guns, but I love it. (laughs) A lot of fun. Yeah. If we ever have a pump shotgun comes in, it's her. She she, she does the pumps. (laughs) Right on. From no guns to I love guns and I work on guns. Uh, I bet you it blows some people away that you're the gunsman. They They, do. They're like a woman gunsman. Yeah, I do. (laughs) We've got a number of them actually across. Well, the wonderful. Country. Yeah, Maybe we'll end up starting our own women's group separately for you know <laughs> just for you guys. You can talk trash about your husbands. And your <laughs> <laughs> yes, but we absolutely love it. We do. We do. It, yeah, it's it's wonderful. <laughs> Well, how, how did, you know, obviously having a machining background, you know, you already had that kind of dialed in, but what did you learn from AGI that helped make you, help you make the jump to, uh, to, you know, being a full-time gunsmith? And, and well, the, the, uh, y'all mentioned this so many times, the design and function. In fact, uh, the, the end of this week, we'll be taking our shotguns test. Mm-hmm. And now you're talking about a difficult course. <laughs> the, sh- the shotguns is a difficult course. But in seeing that, uh, there were so many things that we ran up on mm-hmm. that was causing us a lot of problems that when we remembered what we was taught on the DVDs. Go back and watch the uh, DVDs. Go back and mm-hmm. watch it again. Mm-hmm. That's how you do it. And mm-hmm. and it became so interesting. It's putting a puzzle together or solving a mystery. What's wrong with this one? <laughs> you know. <laughs> and uh, the 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 design first when we got the design down. And then we begin to see it taught me how to watch little intricate parts as they move. Now, when you move this, this is supposed to move. And then you do that. And hearing things, listening for the clicks and little things like that. And, so. and the, the, the little small things teaches you so much. Yes. And uh, <laughs> and we, we just enjoy it immensely. Yes. Yeah. It's fun, like you said, to have a reason to get up in the morning. You know, we mm-hmm. had yes. one guy uh, who is an 80 year old um, retired special forces. And he and his wife were very, very close. And she passed away after 60 years of marriage. Mm -hmm. And he said, I'm so lost. And then I found this 
and I'm loving it. He's opened a gun range. He's got all new friends now. People bring him stuff. He's just, you know, I mean, it's 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 a reason, like you said, to get up in the morning. That's yes. exciting. right. Yeah. Yes, it is. We have a lot of hunters in this area, dove season and all this. So we, we have a lot of people come and bring their guns and just a lot of times just for cleaning, just to get it ready for dove season. And then some of them say, well, I have a problem. And can you figure out what's going on with my gun and just get in there? Like you said, like it's a mystery. Let's figure out why, why is this not loading and why, what's happening with this gun? Yeah. <laughs> so I love that you guys have done really jumped in the design function repair because that is the key if you don't understand it you can't fix it but once you understand those systems and then you and you understand that they're linear you know i mean for example we had to memorize sequentially not only the light 1911 and all the different major revolvers and stuff like that mm -hmm. uh, along with the auto pistols like the 1911 and that's the platform basis but right. we have to memorize like the browning a5 sequential movements and Mm -hmm. So I really encourage every student to internalize that because then you can, even when you're out looking at the DVDs, you can mentally in your mind, look at how the sequence of that gun works. Yes. And then when there's a breakdown, you can go, okay, this happens first, that happens second, third, oh, there it is, you know, and that's real gunsmithing. And yeah. that's outstanding. Yeah. And I have had that happen several times where I know it's doing this and it's doing this, but it will not do that. So there's a breakdown between these two. And when you begin to pinpoint the problem, you can solve the problem. It's fascinating to me. AGI teaches the basics. You got to have the basics or you can't get it. Yeah. Well, what's interesting to me, and you're not unusual, is you went through pistol smithing, started yes. gun smithing, and ended up with more work than you could almost handle yes. and we got to almost keep you on track you also want to go through everything now you're almost through shotguns yes, you yes. Take the test. it's top test yeah it but, is but that's the that's the pinnacle point it's once you get past shotguns uh rim fires and center fire rifles yeah. it just all makes sense so much yeah. faster yeah, well, we also had to, uh, one of the things that I'm really looking forward to is when we get, you know, into the next section, although I've been a machinist for a long years, uh, a lot of years, I want to take the machining course yeah. to find out, you know, I'm so used to, well, you can just do this and that'll get you through. I want to know the latest techniques and the, the new little shortcuts for the gunsmiths and all like that, you know, always room to learn. Absolutely. I, I had um, one uh, student I just talked to and he said, you know, boy, I, other than design function repair, which you got to have, he said, if I could only right. have two other courses of AGIs, it would be the welding and machining. Yes. Because he said, I've been welding for 20 some years at that point. And he said, I just realized I was doing most all of it wrong. Yes. And yeah. I thought I was doing it pretty good. And now, yeah. like, put a, you know, use a little bit of TIG, puts on a little bit of weld, fits the part out the door. Yeah. So yeah. looking forward to you guys getting through all the programs, but it's so fun. Now, you've gone from how, what, how long has it been that you, you've been in the program? Uh, I guess just uh, probably right out of year. Something like you know, a year. It's taken oh. us. It's taken us a while to get this far uh, oh. because our, our workload is so heavy. But we we will not let the our, our studies go because the workload's heavy because they go together. Yeah. To be able to handle the workload, we've got to have the studies mm -hmm. in. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, in less than a year, you guys have start off with a small shop, which is an adequate size shop for a lot of stuff, but now you've built a bigger shop. Is it on yes. your own prop on your own property? It, it is. And and one of the good things about it is it's on our own property. And we actually connected the two buildings together. We had a fifteen hundred square foot. So. Yeah. And, <laughs> nice. and the shop our shop has actually paid for our new building as we go. Yeah. So we're going to come out of it yeah. with no overhead. Yeah. You know, I so. love it. And the commute's pretty good too, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. It's very good. In fact, I, I feel so good. I walk to work every morning. <laughs> yeah. No, that makes life nice. And you know, mm -hmm. the crazy thing is you guys did all this during the 
pandemic, you know, yes. we so, found we found it so hard to find supplies and stuff. In fact, it's still hard mm-hmm. to find supplies and stuff. But we made it through a very difficult yes. time and, and things. And But really, even through that time, our business didn't suffer. Our business kept growing. Mm-hmm. It was just the difficulty of finding some of the supplies and stuff we needed. We had some repeat customers. If you give them good work, good quality work, they come back, they tell their friends, and that's how we run. We had business cards made and just good quality work, and that's that's helped us grow a lot too. I, I totally agree with you. And the thing is, there, there are a lot of part swappers out there that call themselves gunsmiths, and they don't really understand DFNR. They just keep guessing. And you guys obviously right. keep guessing. You know what you're doing. And I'm so excited to see you guys as a team doing this. This has got to be a lot of fun, you know, and, it is. and you don't, I don't know, you probably get competitive, but you don't, you know, like throw things at each other. in the <laughs> <laughs> We've you know, launched a few parts. <laughs> we've launched some parts that we have yet to find. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that's what you, you get to go down and do what we call the gunsmith crawl, right? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for a little spring or a little spring. <laughs> We feel Bob's pain when yeah. he uh, when he says, <laughs> "Yes, it's it's fascinating." But we, I, in fact, I think I still have one spring. It's still traveling. <laughs> I had a, I launched a part one time, a plunger on an M2 carbine, and uh, out of the trigger group, and I looked everywhere in the shop. I mean, everywhere in the shop. About six months later, I was emptying the oil bucket that I had on the mill and talk on it that part <laughs> in there. <laughs> uh, you know, so it happens to all of us. Um, well, well, well oil. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It was not rusty. Um, yeah, but you know, that is something, you know, that as you learn, and that's another reason I encourage you guys to watch the armors courses and then some of the mm-hmm. disassembly reassemblies and all the 180 plus disassembly reassembly courses we got online on mm-hmm. the DCA, uh, mm-hmm. the Gunsmithing Club of America, because that one little tip on disassembly and reassembly can save you so much time, including when the instructor says, hey, and make sure you hold your thumb over this or watch out for that so you mm-hmm. don't watch the part. The, that, yes. that is, that is uh, priceless information. Yes. It is, really. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, uh, and we've given you good support, I hope. Oh, you yes. you have wonderful support. Yes. Uh, Sue is our advisor. She's always available when we need her. And we Damn. have and, and, you know, all of the staff, we we've not had any difficulties uh, getting help when we need it. Uh, it's been a, it's been a very good journey so far. Yes. We're really looking forward to continuing on. Well, I'm excited for you guys. I do want you to complete all your tests so that I know that you mm-hmm. know everything uh, yeah. that we got to share. But you're on an exciting journey. Holy cow, you know, built the building and paid for it with the gunsmithing you're doing already. Building yeah. a lot of equity that way into your property. Yes. Having yeah. fun together, that's good. Mm-hmm. Service in the community, that's awesome. Mm-hmm. And uh, man, I just look forward to checking in with you guys in a year or two, see what you've done. Well, we, we, we're so excited, <laughs> we are. And we appreciate so much the opportunity uh, uh, to, to be a part of the, the family yes. you mentioned yeah. earlier. Absolutely. Yeah. That's how we feel about our students and our members. So, yeah. well, Gary and Valerie, mm-hmm. what a team. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and, and you still like each other after this. That's <laughs> <what they're laughs> Actually, we do. We still enjoy, <laughs> still enjoy working together. Yes. <laughs> well, and that's something a lot of couples don't get to do. So I congratulate mm-hmm. you on that. Um, yeah, being do that being able to do it from home, being able to make good money uh, and servicing the community. It's an awesome win all the way around. So congratulations and uh, look forward to hearing a lot more from you guys. All right. Thank no, you very thank much. You. Oh, you take care. You too. Thank you.